Hi everyone, welcome to do-it-yourself reporting in Business Central version 23. Going back to the days of NAV, for a long time we have had the ability to take something like a list of data, such as I'm looking at here, my customer list, and pop it out into Excel at the click of a button, and then take that data and manipulate it with pivot tables, formulae, formatting, etc., to make it into a usable report. More recently, we've had the ability to output things into an HTML format using the download. So I can say uh, send to, it would write the data into an HTML format, which looked something like this. So this is my report in HTML format. It is opened in Excel and I can obviously do things. I can do calculations and I can reformat it and I can clean it up and so on. But generally to do that took quite a lot of work before I got it into a format that was usable as an Excel document. And not only that, every time I ran the report, I would have to redo my formatting. So I would then need to resort perhaps to lots of wasted time every time I want to run the report or writing macros to do the formatting for me. Going on to version, I think it was 21 or 22 perhaps, we were given the option to do this, to output a report as an Excel document data only. So what that does, if I run it and say OK, and I click there, choose my outputted report, I get something like this. So this is now a data table in Excel, a little bit more useful, but still requiring a little bit of work to make it repeatable, easily repeatable for future runs. So first problem is I've got a lot of columns in here, which I don't really want for my Excel sheet. These are things that are perhaps row captions or other kinds of captions, page headings and so on. So if I wanted to now turn this into a usable report, the first thing I will need to do is probably delete some of these columns so that I have my actual data fields. There's my customer number, name, various other customer fields, and that's a sales amount, a discount amount, profits, if I go a little further, some more useless columns. And towards the end, I will hopefully find an item code, a description, and a quantity. So there's a lot of unnecessary clutter on this document that I will want to clean up. And again, every time I ran it, I would need to redo that process. But that has changed. We cannot do this in a way that is repeatable and reusable as an end user. Not only that, but through the development environment, I am able through one report to make multiple versions of this output available to my end user to be selected at runtime. And I'll go through that in a subsequent session, how to use this in uh, our Visual Studio AL code. But for now, let's see how I would do it as, a, as an end user. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make this into a format that is more compact and summarized. So therefore, I'm going to go to a pivot table. I may also want to make this different colors and different um, layouts. I will not want to have all of these complicated columns. I want them gone. And I may want to perhaps add an extra formula. Let's say I want to calculate the average price that has been uh, offered on each of these sales lines. So to save us a little bit of time, I have already done that. I've taken one of these output sheets and I've done the following. So I've created one pivot table called sales by customer with my customer name, the sales amount, and the profit amount. Similar report using this time the item code and description, the sales line amount, and the profit. On my data sheet, I have got only the necessary columns. So I've changed the format. I've made it a little bit less bleak. I'm going to make that uh, red in color. And let's say, for example, I want to, I could change this, I could make it blue or black or orange or green. I like green, okay? That's my report. I have done a lot of nice, neat formatting. The last thing that I've done is I have added on my data sheet a column, a new column on the table, and I have added a formula here, which is, if we look at the top here, it's my sales amount. I know that's a very complicated heading divided by my invoiced quantity. So that's giving me the average price quoted or charged to each of these customers for these particular items. What I can now do is I can save this and close it. 
And if I go back to my business central system, I'm going to rerun that report. But if we look at the top here, we have this thing that says report layout. Now that is currently set to what the developer of this report has designated to be the default layout. It is an old fashioned RDLC layout, which has to be done through SQL type uh, reporting products or reporting tools. If I click on the little dots there, the ellipse, here is my layout. It is the default. I know this because this column at the end here is ticked. It's the default layout. But I can now do a couple of things. I can create new, new layouts or I can copy an existing layout. And I'm going to do this as follows. Click on the dots at the top. Select new. Give it a name. So let's call it product sales. I can give it a description which may be more cool. My customer and item. And it is going to have the layout Excel. Now, when I click OK here, it will ask me to give it a file, to upload a file. So let's click there. This will be sitting in my downloads file. This is the file that I have just edited. And I open it. And there it is. So now it is available for me to run anytime. The next time I want to run this report, I can use this layout as opposed to this, the default. And in fact, I can even make this my default. So I can here go here and say set as default. This now becomes my, oh, did that work? Set default. Product sales has been set as the default. Yes, I believe it has, even though it's not ticked. Let's just go back in there and confirm that. Excellent. So my new report layout in Excel that I have just created and uploaded is now the default. So now anytime I go in to run this report, this is going to be the version that it is going to select as my first choice. If I now say download and I open the report that it has just downloaded, we will find that it contains all of the formatting that I have just set. So I, as an end user, am able to create any number of versions of this report with more useful headings, such as sales amount and profit amount, instead of the very long-winded name that Business Central has given it. Multiple pivot tables, each pivot table formatted differently, and I've done that myself, and my data table as well. I can add columns with calculations in it, and I can reformat it into a more useful version. I could now go and create three or four or five or ten different versions, upload them and have them selectable at runtime. The idea and the power behind this new approach is that it puts the, puts the control over how reports are presented into the hands of the users. So provided you can find an existing report, either one that is standard from Microsoft or a report that may have been built by a partner or by your own developer that contains a relevant underlying data set that has all of the underlying fields that you are looking for already defined on the data set, you can run this and then use it to further an analyze your data to produce meaningful reports in summarized format with charts, with pivot tables, with additional formulae, etc. and makes you so much less dependent on the standard reports. It provides so much more power than we have had in the past. So this is how we do it from the front end. In addition to this, Microsoft has made better tools available to the developers so that similar to what I have done here, I could take this existing layout with a couple of restrictions and define this into a custom built report as an optional layout. So in my report, I could have different versions of the report based on the same data set for different audiences of users. But in a subsequent video, I'm going to be addressing the technically minded amongst us on how we achieve this from the back end, from the development environment. Please watch out for that video. Cheers.